how I got to cultivate was uh, an interesting story. Uh, I'd uh, grew up, uh, you know, was running a business and went just through some really hard times uh, when I was in my mid 40s and uh, went through a bad divorce, um, which ended up in a bad drug addiction and uh, just pretty much had given up on life uh, and just started searching for something, really didn't know what I was searching for and uh, heard about Cultivate, got to getting involved and landed here on these grounds. You know, I've, I've thought about this question what did Cultivate do for me while I was here? He gave me a community of people that uh, is family now. He gave me a time of rest. I'd been running and uh, it just gave me a, a period of time I could slow down and think and ask hard questions, you know, and uh, I got to do that here, you know. Uh, through that, God started, you know, the questions I was asking was, you know, what is this life about? You know, what, what is this all it is? Uh, what's, what's my purpose? What benefit do I give to other people? And uh, I seen that here and uh, seen it play out and uh, God just sort of restored that and started preparing me for that. Along the way, it, it was some struggles, but thank God I'm where I'm at today. You know, I, I work for a, another nonprofit ministry I've been there about five years. Uh, I get to pour into young men's lives, just like y'all did me. I met Edie, uh, as a matter of fact, a year ago this week. Uh, she came to where I work down in Nairgate on a mission trip. And uh, God just, uh, you know, I say it was a gift. He just brought her to me, you know. And uh, it just, I knew pretty quick that it wasn't me or her, it was God. And uh, so that was a amazing story, but we got married in June. I never had no plans on getting married again. Like I said, God had a different plan. One thing that God created us to have was community. And uh, I think when I come to cultivate, that's what I found. And uh, he used that community to bring me back to life. I tell a lot of people, I said, you know, it's, uh, this is part of my testimony and uh, I wished a lot of it wasn't, but uh, it's God's story. So do I wish a lot of it hadn't have happened? Yes, I do, but I wouldn't change it. <laughs>